And we got booked again. This is a two-day mastermind program. So we will be recording general sessions nonstop. We'll be getting testimonials and it culminates in a yacht experience in Tampa, which is on the other side of Florida. So right now I have everything in two bags as always with the tripod case. And I used to have a Miata, so this seems like a work truck now, this BRZ. But there's no one here. It's early morning. I need to go inside. I need to see what the space looks like, where lighting's going to go, where audio's going to go, and just get a general lay of the land, talk to the on-site producer, and get things going. So let's go inside and see where I begin. So they pretty much started immediately and I had to get this up as fast as possible. So we have our single camera, our Canon C70. For audio, we're using the Rode Filmmaker kits. And extremely important for these long sessions is having mains power in. That's one thing I love about the C70. I don't have to rely on that battery. The monitor batteries are the same ones that go inside the DSLR. And then these are our transmitters for our speakers. Lighting wise, we have our Amran 200X, and then I will be putting some color behind that white thing. Excited, you know, um, I was listening to a podcast the other day and it said, you know, um, it's important that you show up as you, you know, um, it's important that you show up as the person you want the world to know you, not what the world wants you to be. So I want to leave it at that, right? As you guys take all this information that's given and I want you guys to just Take it and make it yours. Okay, quick mid-shoot adjustment. Since I'm on the right, monitor comes to the right. It was really hard to see on the other side. And uh, the lighting looks good with the softbox. I put an LED panel behind here and splashed some color. I feel like it really makes a big difference for video. And this is the T-marker. It's important for the speaker. We'll see if they actually stay there, but this is their view. quick pivot into the living room of this 10 bedroom Airbnb that's being rented out. Luckily, the social media girl could grab some BTS footage of me, which I think is pretty valuable. It doesn't happen very often. But here I'm using my new Sigma 24-70 2.8. I had the Canon 24-105 f4 and the extra two stops of light is a huge, huge difference. I will trade that in for the extra focal range. Um, I love this handheld rig. It's balanced. The monitor is bright. And I feel like I can, I can be in a real run and gun situation and react, which is nice. I don't have to fiddle with my camera and tighten something and I can just exist and record. And the rest of the day was more of the same. So I have the cameras all packed away, ready to go home get some sleep i'll be back in the morning we're going to do some more sessions and then it's time for the yacht second and final day of the conference we are grabbing some testimonials before we begin the general sessions using the road filmmaker kit lobs like always and a step and repeat with just an led panel filling up the far side Okay, finish testimonials, finish general sessions, time to pack up and get ready for the yacht. So I'm not taking this big bag, just the small bag with camera gear. But the big bag, just so you guys know, can pack a lot and it has wheels, which is amazing. It has the boom stand, light stand, two small light stands, LED panel, softbox, the Amaran, some XLR cords, and that big uh, power plug, which is extremely helpful. And we out. All right, we made it to downtown Tampa. This is Yacht One, Passion. And then we have a completely other yacht for the rest of the crew. 
So the captain just advised me that I need to go to the other boat, sign their release form, because once we get out and into the water, I'll be jumping between boats. So sign the release form, then back to my boat, and we launch. Okay, that was fast. Um, I cannot go on to the other boat because they are at max capacity. Um, so they can't have anybody come on board. So I tried to see if maybe we can switch. And I'll, someone jumps onto my boat and I jump onto their boat. He said that's not really how it's done. And you can't add people past capacity or else he can lose his captain's license. So I gotta just roll with the punches and kind of figure out what to do. So I'll just be shooting from my boat at that boat. And that's pretty much what video production is. It's, you're just solving problems. So this is an easy problem. Um, just use the zoom lens. Got the 24 to 70 on and that's what it's for. All of this music is copywritten, so I'm just gonna speak over it. My main instruction when I boarded the boat was to capture the remaining testimonials. So I only have a few left. Like I said, I've grabbed some yesterday. I grabbed some this morning and there's only a few more. So the issue here is volume. The music's loud. The music on the other boat is loud. I'll find a volume knob, turn it down, and then a few minutes later, it'll turn back up. I also have the wind noise to compete, especially on the upper deck. But if I can be flexible, no tripod, handheld, I can move around and at least I have that benefit. Now beyond that, I have to look at lighting, which is you take what you can get. Under the cabana is a great little soft box. And then here we have the man in charge, Matt. So he's the one uh, leading this whole program and he's enjoying himself talking to his attendees but also he's keeping one eye open that i am creating all the marketing footage which sounds like this if i fail they also can help me and guide me in the way in the direction to try it again right whereas now i have just that security of knowing yes you know and i also have a security of yes i'm gonna fail i know that I'm Okay, testimonials done. Now we are into the party phase. And a lot of times it just helps to join in with the party vibe or whatever vibe. You need to match it. So if you're at the beach, socks and shoes and a button up, people aren't going to relax. They're not going to play to the camera. They, they can't connect with you. But if you join in with them, they tend to open up. Here I'm trying to be Jack Sparrow. So that is the end of a two-day gig with a masterclass workshop. And on the way here, I got an inquiry for manning a live switcher in the Bahamas in 48 hours from now. So that'll be a five-day trip. Um, I'll get confirmation whether that's happening or not happening soon. And I'll see you guys in the next vlog.